What's up everybody? Welcome back to Hazy Vapors. Today, this might be a bit of a gush video, um, more than a review, mostly because I'm absolutely in love with the TFV8. So, let's get into it. The Smoke TFV8 Cloud Beast. Alright guys, let's break open the box and see what we get for the value. Really like the packaging, very nice, sharp, catches the eye. Nice smoke box there. Pull this little tab out, of course, your tank will be sitting in there with one of the pre-installed coils. I'll get to that in a sec. So, you get your bag, um, extra seals, extra o-rings, there's some extra grub screws in here, and there's a 510 adapter in here. Cool. Get your little QC card. You get your little booklet, let you know how to fill the tank up, take it apart, everything that you need to know about it. Two vape ends, black and orange. You will get your little baggie of cotton. That's for the RBA base. It does come with a hex key, again, for the RBA base. And you get your spare glass. That's everything that comes in the box. Now you do get two coils with it as well as the RBA base. So the two coils that you get are the octuplet coil, which is the V8 T8, uh, eight coils in here. I mean, <laughs> the Cloud Beast was a great name for them to pick, I'll tell you that much. Um, and you also get the uh, V8 Q4 quadruple coil, four coils inside. So another monster. I mean, look at the size of these coils with the juice flow holes on the side, the way they have them, huge, massive coils. So, I paid $44.99 for this from Dash Vapes, um, just an incredible value. I can't believe that I paid $5 more for this than I did the UL Crown 2. Um, this is probably my favorite performing tank, so 10 out of 10 on the value. That's just an amazing price for everything that you get. Alright guys, let's take a look at the overall design of the TFV8. Start at the top, work our way down. This thing comes with a massive drip tip on it. Delrin, very comfortable. It does not get hot. Um, huge, huge, huge airflow on this thing. This is the same size base as the Griffin 25, so if you want to tone it down a little bit, you can put the Griffin 25 drip tip on here. I prefer this one. I just like the, the big amount of airflow that it gives you. This is a top fill tank, again, with the swivel exactly like the tfv4 now this one they've improved a lot this top fill um the one hole a lot bigger than it was on the tfv4 so your dripper fits in there i haven't had any leaking with it no spilling nothing like that so huge huge improvement on the design of that clicks back into place this is a six mil tank it is massive huge tank um, even with the the coils taking up that much space it still holds six mil so really really good design I love the orange and black that they went with. It's got huge airflow on it, and I mean huge, like RDA, wide open, rival, huge. Um, nice, nice ring, it, not clicky, doesn't click into place, doesn't stop, just spins around, but it stops where you set it, which is good enough. Overall design, I gotta give it a 10 out of 10. I absolutely love it. I love the size of it, love the size of the drip tip, huge airflow, the top fill. You know, my style of vaping, this is it. Love it. So here we are at the most important part of this review, or gushing, if you might, um, performance. Now, kind of two-sided on this one. The coil heads that they give you, um, we'll talk about those first. I'll talk about this quadruple first. They say that this coil is rated up to 180 watts. It performs best at 150 watts. Now, I was running this tank on my cuboid. Your cuboid will not get up to that, not even close. I think it was maxing out the voltage at about 100, 110 watts, somewhere in between there. Uh, I would not get up to that just because the ohm on the coil is so low, it needs that much power. Um, I found these coils work best on something like my Tesla Invader 3, which has, you know, not as many of the limits that uh, regulated mods have and it was killer you know a uh, great vape with that but on these regulated devices um, it just wouldn't get up to that even more so on the 
quadru or the octuple head because it is rated up to 260 watts. <laughs> You're not going to get up there with any device that I had. So you had I had I was settling with these coils around 80 watts. Were they at their best performance? Probably not. Um, like I said on my Tesla Invader 3, that thing kicked it. Put out enough power for these coils. Awesome, great vape. Um, the flavor on these pre-made coils. Mm, not the best. The vapor production, huge, absolutely massive. They picked the name Cloud Beast for a reason. This thing kicks clouds like nobody's business. Um, but yeah, the coil heads, uh, not the best. I truly fell in love with this tank when I put the RBA base in. So I'm going to quickly pull it out and I'll show you guys what that looks like. All right, so pulled it out. As you can see, you can access your build deck with liquid in there. You just have to make sure that it is under um, where it unscrews from, obviously, or it's just gonna pour down the chimney, but you can access it, which is kind of cool. All right, guys, here is the RBA base. You know, same size as the coil. Pull this off, and there you go. These are the two Claptons that came in it. Um, I mean, it's just awesome. All I had to do was literally throw wicks in here and it was ready to go. Now, they do have the uniform, uniformed channels here, which means uh, your cotton goes to one channel, which is really nice. I mean, that's what the RTA2 did, and it is just a smart design, as opposed to having four separate ones. You're trying to shove your cotton down. This one, you know, cut your wicks a little thin, thin them out, shove them down into the sides, and you're ready to rock and roll. Huge airflow on this RBA base. Um, most coils have holes in it. Look at that. The whole bottom is just wide open for airflow. So I absolutely fell in love with this RBA base. It kicked the flavor up. I mean, I put juice in here that I thought wasn't that good, and it tastes awesome. So let me put this back together, and we'll vape on it and talk a little bit more about the performance. All right, so everything's back together. I have a the build that they put in there um, that it comes with pre-installed the coils are running at 0 0.30 I currently have it at 90 watts 5.2 volts let's chuck some clouds from the cloud beast huge huge clouds absolutely huge the airflow I mean, the flavor that I'm getting off this, it's actually making my juice taste a little too sweet. Um, I just want to say this. This is one of the best performing RTAs on the market, and it's a sub-ohm tank. Doesn't that just boggle your mind? This outperforms a lot of the R RTAs that I own. It outperforms any sub-ohm tank that I've ever had. Um, amazing performance on it. You know, the, the pre-made coils are just, eh, that's where it might lose a point. Just because they're not the best flavor, uh, they take a lot of power, and they are pretty damn juice hungry. But the RBA base is where this thing really shines. Uh, I use it like an RTA now, and I absolutely love it. Massive clouds. Flavor, you know my thoughts on it. Vapor production, you can see it. Um, absolutely love it. I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10, just because the pre-made coils aren't the best, but the RBA base is where it's at for this thing. So, 9 out of 10. I'm in love with this. Alright, so the Smoke TF-V8 is going to walk away with a final score of 29 out of 30. Damn near perfect. A sub-ohm tank? This thing blows everything out of the water. This is hands down my favorite. I mean, that's my personal style of vaping. I'm actually absolutely in love with this thing. You might not be. You might say, no, there's too much airflow or it's too big and bulky. Uh, the pre-made coils need too much power. That's fine. That's why I make these videos so you guys can see my opinion. So 29 out of 30. Absolutely love the Cloud Beast. If you don't have one, go out and get one because for the price, you're not going to beat a sub-ohm tank. So thank you so much for joining me again here at Hazy Vapors. Make sure you hit the thumbs up button. Why not? Everybody else is doing it. And make sure you subscribe to my channel so you can always get my opinion on products. 
Thank you so much for joining me again. I'll catch you on the next review, guys.